Working with Nature, One Community Weekly Progress Update, number 504. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do-it-yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution-creating models in the service of all life on this planet. My name is Jay Sable, and I'm the executive director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. One Community is bringing together people with the consciousness and the desire for the highest good of all life on this planet to build sustainable, regenerative, and self replicating teacher demonstration hubs as a pathway to global sustainability. So, November 20th, 2022 edition of our weekly progress update. And today's topic and what I want to talk about is working with nature. And so um, if you followed our progress and know anything about our project, our project is big on increasing biodiversity, supporting and building ecosystems, and permaculture. Using permaculture to create integrated systems that work with nature instead of against nature, that, that model nature systems, and to build things like food forests that mimic nature such that once they are up and running, they will continue on their own until somebody comes along and decides that they need to plow it down. I mean, you don't need to maintain these forests once you get them up and set, set up and running. They just produce food on their own. Of course, you can tend to it and steward to it steward it and make it produce even more food. But the idea is creating those types of regenerative systems. And everything you see happening in the background here is models designed to create eco villages and sustainability hubs designed to steward the area around them and to build up and make the area around it even more lush, even more abundant, while of course contributing to the abundance and lushness of the individuals who are living within these environments as well. And so our idea of working with nature is, again, it's, it's really that simple. It's working with nature instead of against nature. It's looking at how we can expand biodiversity and support, support existing ecosystems and making them even more vibrant and alive while simultaneously constructing our radically sustainable eco-villages. And through radical sustainability, we can provide a better ecosystem for the human being as well a better way of living for the individuals living within these environments while simultaneously supporting the planet that we all share together. And so we talk about highest good living and that's really what it's all about is like, how can we do to the best of our ability what is best for people and all life on this planet as we address all the foundations, the physical foundations of sustainability as well as the emotional foundations of sustainability to provide a way of living that most people consider to be way better than the way they're living right now. And so the physical foundations of sustainability, you see this happening in the background of the video, are food, energy, and housing, and the emotional foundations of sustainability that we've identified and we're focusing on are fulfilled living, what we call highest good approaches to education, economics, and truer stewardship. And we put all these things together to build teacher demonstration hubs, that will, and I've said this in the last few videos, I'm going to say it again, you know, rather than give a person a fish, they say, they, they say rather than give a person a fish, teach a person to fish. Well, we want to teach teachers how to teach fishing, which is another level even beyond that. And so we're open sourcing and free sharing all the tools, tutorials, resources, and do-it-yourself instructions for everything that you see in the background of this video and so much more because we haven't gotten to really fully expressing, obviously because we're not on the property yet, the fulfilled living aspects, the high school education model, which is ready to go once we get on the property, but there's a whole new level of that that we'll be able to, to expand and go to next. High school economic models, demonstrating what's possible through a resource-based economy and really implementing and applying the stewardship models along with the food, energy, housing, like putting all these things together and really taking our open source and free share process to the next level, exponentially increasing our output by bringing it all together in one place and then sharing that as an ecotourism destination so that people can come and visit and experience what it is that we're creating and see that everything that we're doing is open source and free share and be able to replicate that, their, that in their own lives or to be able to take it out and build their own teacher demonstration HUD and demonstrate that they have learned how to teach teachers how to fish as well. And so 
this is our idea and we are a 100% volunteer organization, including myself. We are a nonprofit organization. We're a non-governmental organization. We've had over 600 volunteers contribute to the project so far. And we're doing this because we want to live this way. We're doing this because we see the possibility. And if you run the numbers on a self-replicating model like this, we make it easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrate as attractive enough to spread on its own, to replicate on its own. A self-replicating model like this could include every single person on the planet within 30 years. And it doesn't need to actually do that. It never will actually do that. You know, the idea though is to reach that that tipping point, that critical mass, so that we are positively impacting every person on the planet. And that is a very realistic goal. Through a model like this, we think that that is a realistic goal and achievable. It is objectively achievable within 30 years. And so this is what one community is all about, and this is what we're creating. And so when we talk about working with nature, we're talking about working with the entire planet to create a world that works for everybody, nature and humanity, as one symbiotic organism working together to create the world that's possible. By supporting nature, we support ourselves, and nature supports us. And so it's that process that we're invested in, and showing that we can be the stewards of this planet. We can create the world that is possible. We can create a world that works for everybody within our lifetime, and we're going to. And we're doing it through open source tools and resources and do-it-yourself instructions right now and then building one community as a place that people can visit and experience all this. So this is what we're up to. If you love what we're doing and you'd like to get a weekly dose of positivity and world change, um, like and subscribe, ring that bell, uh, go to our website and visit the subscribe page if you'd like to receive an email. Every time one of these comes out, we send out one email a week uh, just with our weekly progress update. Every once in a while I have some special thing that we might share, but very rarely. Usually it's just sharing our weekly progress update. If you'd like to see the specifics of what our all-volunteer team has accomplished in the last week, uh, visit our blog with the name of this YouTube video and check that out. And you can see what every one of us has done in the past week. If you would like to see uh, all the open source tools, tutorials, resources, everything I'm talking about, everything you see in the background of this video, visit our website. Of course, if you'd like to help out, visit our helping page. And um, last but not least, if you'd like to help out in the easiest way possible other than subscribing, stick around, watch the video to the end, helps our algorithm, and check out our new uh, video for overviewing all the major components of our project, which follows what I'm about to say here. And um, yeah, till next week, you know we will, of course, keep on keeping on. Thanks for following our progress. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. One community's approach to highest good education is designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, includes national standards, all subjects, lesson plans, teaching strategies, learning strategies and tools, classroom design, and more. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. Sure.